first questions about YouTube. That is, if you want to start up your YouTube channel, well, you come to the right point because I'm going to be asking frequently asked questions on YouTube. So follow all my socials down below as well as on the screen. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on your post notifications so you can get notified anytime I post a video because you don't want to miss my videos. Like, subscribe, stay with the family and help me reach my goal of a thousand subscribers before the ending of this year. So, sorry, by the ending of this year or before the ending. Anyways, but anyways, so, um, let's just get right into the video. Let me stop writing and get into today's. So I basically went on Google and searched for some frequently asked questions about YouTube. So I'm just here to um, give you my opinion and my own perspective about that, you know, about those questions. The answers I feel I could answer about those questions because this is not what everybody is going to answer. So disclaimer: this is just my own opinion about the my own opinion about the questions and my answer about the question so i have them right here and i went on google actually to search for them so the first question is how did you get started so basically um recently one of my friends actually um hits me up about youtube and things on how get started and all that so i feel some people believe until you have the perfect um things the perfect equipment that's when you can start youtube no you can start youtube basically from small things, the things you already have. So I'm gonna be telling you guys my own short story about how I started YouTube. So first off, uh, if you know me to all of you but watched all of my videos, you know that I'm the only child. So basically then, that was, I started YouTube last year, February 2019. So then, um, my parents usually go to work and I'm always the only one at home. And that was the period where we have um, this, um, break yeah when our school was on strike so our school was on strike for us here in nigeria so we had to stay home for five months i already come i already came home then for holiday september so i just had to stay so during that period i was watching youtube very well because youtube really became my friend yeah i had youtube or you know when you just recently discovered youtube on poland so i just discovered youtube and i was watching youtube then i was watching this lady sarah jane betts so you guys might real might know her and my know her, but Sarah Jim Bet is a good YouTuber. So I love her videos and I was really, 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 really like into her videos then. Like I really loved what she was doing. Then I was watching some back to school outfit and I'm a student. So I decided to think about the niche first for my YouTube. So the first thing is what you're thinking about the niche of what you want your YouTube to be. So basically people just like think of starting up a youtube channel without thinking of the niche so instead of think of the niche then i came up with the idea that i'm a student and many of us sometimes i get tired of what to wear like i don't even know what to wear i wake up in the morning and i don't know what to wear sometimes i try to think of what to wear a day to when i'm going to school and i end up not picking anything so i said okay why don't have you doing back to school outfits which actually went well for me the first video i ever posted was actually very good and it actually got very good views so <clears throat> one thing you should have in mind before starting up your youtube channel is always think about always um have it in mind that this is um what you, this is um it's something you want to help people don't just see it as something people will not like don't just start up something you think people will not find useful make sure it's something people find useful actually how you um what you want to get your current subscribers from what you want to have your subscribers from because your subscribers come from the video ideas that what they actually search for because youtube is a very big search engine and most of the videos your videos will pop up as some suggestion videos through your own niche and through those people that want to have your channels and all that i don't know if you get me but what i'm just trying to say don't wait until you have the perfect equipment before you start up your youtube channel don't wait for it like seriously don't wait for it so i didn't wait for um i don't then i, I was using infinix what's five yeah i was using infinix on five and since i was watching sarah gender's channel so i just said it one day i just woke up and i was like i'm gonna do a back to school album so just start it up start up your youtube channel don't wait until you have your perfect desire start up with your phone use your phone to video and do a whole lot of things and seriously just use your phone to video use um that small um 
thin light you have use the natural light do a whole bunch of things seriously you don't wait until you have the perfect equipment so the second question here is how long does it take you to make a video okay so it depends on the kind of videos you want to make if it's basically like a tips video or this kind of videos that I'm talking about or um, outfit for my outfit video sometimes it takes me a whole lot of one hour because I get to like think I get to pick out the outfit sometimes I'll already pick out the outfit before the video but sometimes I get to I laugh a whole lot like when someone is videoing me and all that I tend to laugh I tend to like feel some of the videos but basically you just need to have that in mind that so it depends on the video you want to do so that's how long it takes and then you come up editing and trying to think of a thumbnail to do because your thumbnail must be bomb your thumbnail is what um, attracts people sometimes sometimes people don't look at your title they look at the thumbnail so thumbnail is one essential when you're starting up your youtube channel or when you want to make videos for your youtube channel so it depends on the kind of videos you want to do it might take hours it might take minutes it might take take a whole lot of time so editing takes time because i would want to make my video perfect i would want it close to being perfect yeah it can be perfect but close to being perfect for people to watch so that's just how it depends on your video and it's just like that so um for the next question is how do you get confident talking to a camera slash filming in public yes so i had this issue about filming in public and it was really 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 crazy so recently during this quarantine i went to make my nails see my nails yes so cute i love these nails like look at how cute they are i didn't flaunt them in my first in my other videos but i'm flaunting it in this one now but anyways their nails are super cute and so short it doesn't really look it's short but it's still cute so anyways i went to do my nails recently in quarantine i and my mom so we just booked uh, last weekend i think it was last weekend we went to do our nails or whatever upper weekend i don't even know but i know it's during the weekend when she was not going to work we went to do our nails and basically what happened was i was filming my nails i was filming from the beginning how um the story in my nails how it turned out to be this and i gave my mom to film for me to hold the camera and film for me and they were looking at us like what are these people doing what is she doing what is her mom doing so it feels so weird because people would literally look at you people that were passing were literally looking at us like what is wrong with these people and especially we are in nigeria nigeria they always look at things like they always look at people like what are these ones doing what are these ones do now so that's basically what i'm trying to say so how i feel confidence is i try to like if, especially when i'm filming outside i try to like forget the fact that people are there i try to imagine myself in my room talking and in my room filming that's just it and then i when i'm talking to the camera in my room i try to imagine that there are audience with me because surely surely people will watch your video and don't want to see what you're doing so i tend to just look at that i tend to look at people i tend to like just imagine people are with me in my room that i'm talking because naturally i love to talk and i love to interact with people i love to make friends so i just i just think of people like i just try to um imagine that scenario of me with people imagine that scenario with me talking so if you know someone is filming you or so just take that person as your audience take that person as or you can do this you can have your sibling with you when you want to make your video and sit down and just make that person your audience and it's going to really work out well so just imagine that you have an audience inside your room then when you're filming outside imagine you're in your room just forget the people that are outside lock up do that thing forget it so that's how i actually um film outside and film indoors so that's just one of the questions so i think the next question right now is um how do you find the time yes this is a big question on youtube how do you find the time so all the youtubers or all the youtubers you've seen almost of all those big youtubers the find time in creating videos for us in creating videos for you guys so basically i will talk on my own path so how i find my time is 
I try to juggle my time. So okay, I'm now a student. I'm a student, so I go to school and I think of time on how I'm gonna do it. So basically, I have the days of which I'll film. Yeah, being a student. So now I'm talking as a student. So I have the days of which I'll film. I look at the schedule for that week. If there is a pretty day that is um, free or I look at the weekend if I'm not doing anything so what happened if I know I want to film during the weekend I try as much as to find time to do that because I look at it as my business this is my business this is my work this is what I'm doing so I tend not to like um, do anything that weekend like I try to make space or 10 minutes or an hour to film at least an hour to film I find that time of an hour just to film or 30 minutes just to film so that's one thing you need to find the time you need to try and find your time so me i basically pick a day of which i'll film during the day then a day of which i'll post so especially okay when you need to be specific on the day you post so if you know you want to be posting every tuesday you can do that if you know you want to post it every Wednesday, if you know you want to post it two times a week, if you know you want to post it three times a week, it's your choice, it's your video, it's your channel. So, what I'm just trying to say is try as much as once you pick that particular day you want to be posting, then it's going to help, it's going to motivate you on how you must post because you know you must post for your creators, for your subscribers to watch, you know you're trying to post for your subscribers. So, that alone will help you and encourage you and boost your. Um, you to feel a video so now i'm gonna be posting every tuesday i've said that before in my, in my previous videos i'm gonna be posting every tuesday and me having that in mind i'm gonna be posting every tuesday during quarantine makes me always want to post before always want to feel my video before tuesday or always so that i can edit it so that's one thing that's how i find the time me being as a student i think of my times i schedule out my times i write it down in a journal i have a journal where i write it down on how i'm gonna film when i'm gonna film how i'm gonna post when i'm gonna post and how i'm gonna juggle it up with my school work as well so that's just what i'm gonna tell you guys on how you should plan on all that so the next question i think uh, yeah that's the last the last question for today is how do you come up with video ideas so mm, this is a big thing even for me it was a big deal for me as much we are in quarantine even when we are also in quarantine i find it hard on to get video ideas on how i'm gonna upload but <clears throat> i came up with this style of me going on youtube so you have a youtube channel and you have a youtube app use it wisely use it wisely don't mind this on my phone right now my phone looks like a big hold scratchy situation look at this pouch this is my favorite pouch of my current pouch and it looks very cracked that is the handwork of my bestie and my neighbors and my phone the screen is really cracked so forget about that i'm gonna do that very soon when i'm going back to school but that's not what we're talking about so now how do you come up with ideas so first of all i'm gonna tell you to have your book and your pen yes so basically once you found your niche on how what you want to do so you just try to relax and find that thing which you can do to help your subscribers that thing which you can even if it's tips even if it's then you go on youtube and search for youtube ideas so if you know it's during quarantine you want to do so i've done that kind of video ideas during quarantine that will likely blow up your channel so i'll have a link to down below for you guys to go and watch and after you watch that you can watch other youtube video ideas as well during quarantine you know you want to start up your youtube channel during quarantine so you can start off from there this are video ideas that you can do just sitting in your house just in your house so basically that's all i have for today that's i hope i have answered these questions and it helped you guys so much so anyways don't forget to follow all my socials down below as well as on the screen so you can be notified so you can get updated with my life when and when i'm not posting especially my instagram go follow my instagram because i'm really going to be posting there very very soon as well i've not been posting that much and you can know anytime i post uploaded a video because i always post there immediately i upload a video so anyway stay safe i love you guys so so much and i wish you the best in starting up your youtube channel and i love you guys so so much bye